for me, uh, during my undergraduate research, um, Jennifer Lewis is one of those professors that I was kept reading her papers. Like it was just one of those names that came up over and over again. Um, and so, um, for me, uh, coming to Harvard was kind of a bit of a dream to work with one of the preeminent professionals in our in the field, right? One of the biggest names, um, and that's true for across all of Harvard, right? All of you look at all of the professors here, like they're at the top of their field. Um, it's a great place to work both within your discipline and then with other professors uh, for collaborations outside of it as well. Um, like my background is in electrical engineering, but I'm working in a bioprinting lab where we're very much working with um, cells and tissues, things that are alive, a lot of chemistry, a lot of material science, biology, everything. It's like this nice amalgamation of all these different disciplines and you're forced to learn and adapt and catch up to it. And so it's a really great environment to grow in. Um, so the research we're doing um, is very much focused on how do we make things that we just can't make in other ways. So how do we integrate new materials into our designs? How do we make, how do we mold them into different shapes? How do we uh, create new structures that we couldn't just make in other methods? Um, and the same is true for cells and tissues, right? If you want to recapitulate, like, if you want to make these models for cells and tissues that may provide advances in drug screening, right? We have to go to more and more advanced levels other than just cells on a plate. It's just an amazing environment to be in. Boston, the whole area in general, is an amazing place to be. Um, you really get to, uh, you really have a lot of resources available to you, um, both on campus and outside of it. Um, and the community here is, while small, it's very tight knit and it's a great group of people. Um, ultimately, I'd, right now I'm thinking I would like to enter academia and then become a professor myself.